We're Naik and Kim. We spent the last six weeks exploring Costa Rica and we wanted to share with you our favorite places in this paradise country. So here's our top 10 for Costa Rica. This is freaking magical. If you're looking for lush jungle, tropical beaches and abundant wildlife, there's no better place on earth than Costa Rica. Let's start off with one of the country's crown jewels, Manuel Antonio National Park. If we had to name one place you can't miss, this would be it. Manuel Antonio has it all. Beautiful rainforests and beaches, but also the best wildlife in the country. In just a couple hours, we spotted macaws, iguanas, dozens of monkeys, and enough sloths to make you question if you're actually in a forest or a slow motion movie. If you want to, you can splurge on a guide to help you spot even more animals. But if you bring your sense of adventure and a keen eye, you will spot loads of wildlife on your own, just like we did. Now, this one's important. Manuel Antonio is the most popular national park and tickets are limited. So you have to book your tickets online at least a few days in advance. The best time to go is right when it opens at 7 a.m., which is what we did and we saw almost no other people until 9. Bonus tip, after you're done with the park, go for lunch at the nearby Emilio's Cafe. The views are insane, the food's fantastic and whatever you do, do not skip their passion fruit pie. Next up, the Nauyaka Waterfall. No trip to Costa Rica is complete without a waterfall. And if you want to see one of the most dramatic and spectacular ones in the country, you should visit this one, located one hour south of Manuel Antonio. The Nauyaka Waterfall is 200 feet high, consists of two levels, and is located a little deeper inside the rainforest, so it's got that raw jungle vibe. Getting there is going to be an adventure in its own right. The waterfall is located two and a half miles from the nearest parking lot. You either do a one hour medium tough, medium sweaty hike through the jungle like we did, or you can jump in the back of one of these cool looking 4x4 trucks. No matter how you decide to get there, you're gonna love this one as Nayaka is one of Costa Rica's most epic waterfalls. Now, onto something that will shock you, number three, the Tarcoles Bridge, or as it's famously known, Crocodile Bridge. Leaning over the railings of this bridge, you'll spot groups of American crocodiles in the Tarcoles River below. These apex predators are up to 20 feet long, weigh up to 2,000 pounds, and can easily take down a deer or wild boar. There's about 2,000 of them swimming around in this river, making this the largest population of crocodiles in the world and a very bad place to go for a swim. I'm very surprised they're not eating that bird over there. If you're driving south along the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, odds are you'll be driving across this bridge. It makes for a great stop to stretch your legs. Car break-ins are very common here though, so if you're bringing your own wheels, Make sure to park over on the side of the bridge that has the souvenir stores and the restaurants because there's parking attendants there. Continuing our Costa Rica top 10, we're at number four, Monte Verde Cloud Forest. If you want to inject your vacation with a bit of magic that can't be found anywhere else in the country, do not skip Monte Verde. Monte Verde is not jungle, it's cloud forest, so it's always cloudy with nearly 100% humidity, which creates this fairy tale like scenery. You can visit the national park and walk along the famous suspension bridges high up in the forest canopy, or get even higher and soar over the canopy on a zip line. If you're going zip lining, we recommend 100% Aventura. Their two hour tour costs only $56 and includes the longest zip line in Latin America. And if you're brave enough, you can do a 150 foot free fall. Despite what it sounds like, we felt perfectly safe the entire time. Bonus tip, definitely also check out the Colibri Cafe right next to the National Park entrance. The Monte Verde Cloud Forest is home to 30 different species of hummingbirds. And the Colibri Cafe has sugar water feeders hanging around their patio that these little guys flock to. Having a coffee surrounded by dozens of beautiful hummingbirds is an experience you won't forget, especially when paired with one of their warm cinnamon buns. 
Best thing ever. But now, let's get our head out of the clouds and back into the sunshine. Number 5. Playa Heradura Costa Rica has plenty of beautiful beaches and you can't really go wrong with any of them. But Playa Heradura, located just north of the town of Chaco, is our favorite on the Pacific coast. It's a great beach for swimming, soft sand, it's inside a small bay with beautiful blue water and rolling hills in the background. This beach is a favorite among the locals and if you come here during the weekend, you can experience a typical Costa Rican tradition. The big family outing. Locals drive for hours to bring their entire family here on the weekends. They really love to party, like brought their tents and everything. They're having barbecues, they're playing loud music. So not only did we get to enjoy these incredible views, but we also made some new friends as well. Both the humankind and the feathery kind, as there are at least five or six scarlet macaws living on this beach. Number six, the San Jose Central Market. Now, if you're coming to Costa Rica, you're probably flying into the capital, San Jose. It's mostly just a big city and nothing special, but there is one place we really recommend. If you love food, go sample some of the best traditional Costa Rican food that you'll ever have at the Central Market or Mercado Central. This market is packed with dozens of so-called sodas. No, not the beverages. They're local restaurants that serve typical and affordable dishes. Kind of Costa Rica's version of a diner? You'll find classics here like gallo pinto, aka the famous rice and beans, loaded meat empanadas, and crazy snacks like a bag of Doritos filled with ceviche. Yes, I actually said that. A bag of corn chips topped with raw fish and sauce. Actually pretty good. That's very surprising. Number 7. La Fortuna and Arenal La Fortuna is a small town up in the central mountains of Costa Rica and one of the most popular destinations in the country because it's very action-packed. Not only is La Fortuna the gateway to the 5,300-foot Arenal volcano, which originally put this town on the map, it is also famous for the towering La Fortuna waterfall and is Costa Rica's adventure hub. There's also much more relaxed options, like hot springs, coffee tours, and some pretty fantastic wildlife. So no matter what you're interested in, you can find it here. Like in most of Costa Rica, the activities around Arenal and La Fortuna are very outdoorsy, but the weather in the mountains can be fickle at times. When we were there, we had bad luck, as it rained non-stop for days. So we didn't get to do too many activities. To avoid that precise situation, we recommend keeping your schedule flexible if you can, monitoring the weather and not booking your activities too far ahead. Keep in mind that things can get very crowded and very expensive in Costa Rica, especially once you start doing guided tours. It's very different from the rest of Central America. If you want to have lots of adventures and spot cool wildlife, but you're on more of a budget or you don't want to share every sloth with 20 other people, you might also want to spend some time outside the super popular areas like the Pacific and Arenal. Many of our best experiences This is freaking magical! were in other parts of Costa Rica, and that is what we're going to get to now. Number 8. Rio Negro Hot Springs When you say Costa Rica, you say volcanoes. And when you say volcanoes, you say hot springs. After a long hike, there is nothing quite like soaking in Mother Nature's very own hot tub. These are the Rio Negro Hot Springs, a complex with over 10 different pools heated by the active Rincón de la Vieja volcano. Here you can see where the hot volcanic water comes in. Uh, that, that, that's really hot. It's a three hour drive northeast from Arenal. In terms of the Costa Rican prices, this one is pretty affordable. It's $34 per person. You get to use all the facilities for the whole day until 5.30, I think. You can also get some volcanic mud. Volcanic mud is supposed to be very good for your skin because of the minerals that are in it. And it's also a lot of fun. If you want to visit this area, you can also add on the Rincón de la Vieja National Park, which is right next door to the hot springs. There's beautiful hiking and hardly any people. Right now, the volcano is erupting pretty much continuously, but when it's not erupting, you can even hike all the way up to the crater rim. 
number nine, Puerto Viejo. Whoop whoop, we're officially diving into the Caribbean side of Costa Rica, which has some of our favorite spots in the country. Welcome to Puerto Viejo, the main town on the Caribbean coast where the rhythm of reggae meets the tranquility of the tropics. This laid-back paradise really embodies the Pura Vida lifestyle. It's a bit more rustic than most of Costa Rica, but that kind of adds to the charm. If you want to try the many flavors of the Caribbean, literally, visit the Tamara restaurant in the city center to sample some Caribbean meals, from freshly caught seafood to traditional dishes infused with coconut and spices. Mm. We also highly recommend a visit to Cavita National Park, where the rainforest kisses the Caribbean Sea and you can walk across white sand beaches while monkeys speak at you from the canopy overhead. Cavita has lots of cool wildlife and few fellow gringos. And then we're at number 10, Punta Uva. This is one of the most underrated spots in Costa Rica and it will blow your mind. It's located near the southernmost end of the Caribbean coast, close to Playa Manzanillo. Playa Manzanillo embodies everything you'll love about the Caribbean. Swaying palm trees and that signature Caribbean blue water is the perfect place to come for a snorkel or a swim. And just a short drive from here, you'll find Punta Uva, our favorite secret spot in Costa Rica. This is where the Caribbean Sea connects to a system of mangroves that you can explore by kayak. It is one of those rare places where you get some of the best of Costa Rica's nature and wildlife all to yourself. Oh, and did I mention the wildlife? There is no entrance fee to the mangroves and kayak rentals are only about $17 per person. Car break-ins are common in this area though, so do try to park in the parking lot of a nearby hotel for a small fee if you can. If you want to find out what the places in this top 10 are really like in person so that you can decide if they're right for your next visit to Costa Rica, check out some of the other videos of our Costa Rica series. Maybe start with this one? <laughs> 